Hello and welcome to How To Pixelmon, your instructional Pixelmon guide with Zalavoni. And today we are going to go over Braviary, and of course little Rufflet that comes with it. Yeah, this Pokemon is new in the most recent update, well the point six, but it is uh, very good. So uh, I'm really happy to go over this one, because the last two we did weren't too uh, satisfying, but I honestly had never heard of nor seen this Pokemon before, and then I looked it up and I was like, wow, that's actually something I would definitely consider using. So I definitely encourage you guys to use one, not only because it has good stats and all, but because look at it. Looks cool. It's like, I don't know, just a really cool hawk looking thing with some color on it. I like that. And then we also got the shiny version, which turns it into blue instead of red. Just like so. Uh, let's see, it gets a gray stomach, so pretty much if you like blue or red better, that's what you would want to go for. I think they both look really cool. Just the solid color going with the tail. I got the Toucan Sam right here. Well, I know what your nickname's gonna be if I ever catch a shiny one here. Don't look at me, him on the I see you judging over there. You're gonna be Toucan Sam. Anyway, so these are very good Pokemon. Uh, you get them from Rufflet, who is right here. I was right here. Who was very shy. Oh, very shy. Anyway, Rufflet evolves at level 54. And... <laughs> there he is. He's a little puffball in the snow. Yeah, so it's a pretty late evolution. And he turns into um, these guys at then. So, you can level him up like so. But either way, Bravier learns most of his better moves uh, at level 50 and after. So you don't really need to specifically learn... And those three moves that we are talking about are the Thrash, Brave Bird, and Superpower. He learns Home Claws earlier on, but the really good thing about Braviary is that he learns all the moves that you're going to need on him. Um, he's going to start by learning Superpower and Brave Bird, I believe. Later on, he's going to learn Thrash. So these two are stab moves, because he's normal flying type, that do 120 damage. So, they're very strong attacks, as is Superpower, although it's not a uh, stab move. Now, they all have downsides to them. Thrash, you're stuck in it for three turns. Brave Bird, you take Recoil, and Superpower, you lower your attack and defense. But it's always good to have moves for coverage. And if you don't want to use any of those, you can go ahead and use Home Claws to increase your attack even further. Now, when I say increase your attack, Braviary has a base 123 attack. So it's really some damage to be reckoned with. Now when it comes to Braviary's speed, it's only at 80. So its attack is definitely its best thing, but its speed ain't that bad. So what I would suggest is training it in attack or speed. Um, those are the two EVs you should go for. Those are the two natures you should aim for. Very simple, nothing too tricky with Braviary. You just get a nice, fast, strong Braviary and go for that. Personally, I'd probably actually go for an attack nature and then put a choice scarf on him. Then he would probably be able to get the first hits and just do a mess of damage. Which is very good, simple enough to have any nature that reduces special attack, defense, or special defense. Because he's not really meant to be a tank. Uh, what I really like about him is he has a low special attack. You know, it's not even wasting points on that, on stuff you'll never use. It's just all the points are where you want him. You got a lot of attack and some decent speed. So you can definitely make a good use out of him. He's like a, uh, a better statted Pidgeot is the way I see him, with better moves, too. Um, just learning those moves such as Thrash and Brave Bird on his own are just amazing to have. Now, there's not a lot of other things you can do when you're training a Braviary, um, but you probably want to keep the Thrash and Brave Bird. He can also learn other TMs, like Rock Slide and U-Turn. Very good TMs. U-Turn works now. If someone sends out an electric Pokemon, you know you're faster. Hit U-Turn and you can switch out another Pokemon. I'd probably run with a moveset similar to this on mine. Because the rock slide is, of course, always good if you have another bird Pokemon out there. Or, of course, anything that's weak to uh, rock moves. And bug moves are also pretty good. Uh, not to mention that escape tactic is always good for a Pokemon that may not be able to survive, like an electric attack or something along those lines. Uh, he can also learn Shadow Claw. So, really, there's enough TMs around to uh, build some coverage on your team. And you can build them however you want. But the best part about him is you don't need to. You can just train him up and keep him with the moves that he has, and he's a very effective Pokemon. As for the items to put on him, if you're going to be using Thrash a lot, I would definitely suggest a metronome. I've said this before in the series, but I'll repeat it to any who have recently picked it up. 
If you have a metronome on a Pokemon that's using Thrash, Thrash forces you to use a move three times in a row. However, a metronome will increase the damage with each of those Thrashes. So it'll be 120%, 140%, 160% of the damage by the end of that. And then just imagine if you use Thrash again afterwards. It could be doing twice as much damage at the end of that Thrash, really increasing how much power you're putting out. So it's really good to put that on moves such as Outrage and Thrash, and it's really fun. But of course, um, even above that, I would say the Choice Scarf, just so you can have that speed to match up with the high attack that he already has. And it would definitely make a great combo. Uh, but that's pretty much all I have to say about these two. They're just really cool looking and really good. So if you do want to just use a standard flying normal type, I would definitely go for these guys above pretty much any other flying normal type. I think they're uh, definitely really good uh, physical attack sweepers. Anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, you guys know what to do. And of course, leave me some comments down below on what Pokemon you'd like to see next, because none have been released since these ones. I may go over some of the uh, new items that were added in a recent update. But other than that, I will see you next time. Take care and uh, goodbye!